Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So happy to have you here. Today we're going to just play with some makeup. I have some new makeup. <laughs> I do sound a little bit nasally as you guys. I told you we missed Monday's upload. I am not feeling well. I thought I had a little cold and like I was staying home so it's good but then I woke up and felt worse and it turns out it's the vid. So round two. This time so far has not been near as bad as the last time I had it. A mess so please send all the good vibes because this was the last thing I really needed for my body, but it's okay. It's life, so we're just gonna push through. The good thing is, is that I do have uh, some new makeup to play with. I feel like every time I change my hair, I just decide that I need all the new makeup. I need all of the things that match my hair, even though how often am I really gonna wear like a full like pinky look with pinky hair? I don't know. I don't know, girl. Um, but I thought I would just sit here and play with some of it and talk to you guys. I also have some other stuff on the way because over the last few weeks, Ulta has had multiple different coupons. So I've been taking advantage of that. And again, like, I don't know, it's so bad. It's like, I, I can be so good at not buying makeup for a minute. And then I like buy some and I can't stop. I can't stop. Um, so I'm very excited for other stuff that's coming. I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and jump in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I feel like this is going to be the most all over the place video because when I'm sick and if my ears are plugged, I feel like I'm trying. I feel like I'm drunk so it's almost like a drunk makeup tutorial but not really so all I've done is really quickly kind of put on my brows my brow pencil is currently too dark one of the things on the way is a brow pencil you know something funny I had all of this stuff in my Ulta cart and I thought I ordered it and then I went to Ulta like a week later and I saw the brow pencil I want I was like oh yeah my brow pencil should be here soon went and looked I never placed the order losing my mind so anyway I just have some Derma E we're doing moisturizer my favorite moisturizer moisturizer is really important guys I've had a few people recently ask me questions and like I'm shocked how many people don't use moisturizer like first thing on their face so I did that I threw on some brows again I know they're dark but hopefully once the whole look on it whole look is on it'll be fine I'm gonna do my very best to do my eyes first because I want to use some glitter uh I'm so like face then eyes but I just think I'm gonna end up with glitter all over my face not that it matters why don't I start chatting um I did ask on Instagram if there were any questions I doubt there's any questions yet but I'm sure I can think of some random stuff to just chat with you guys about as I just go ahead and prime my lids with this is my sound okay my sound is working you guys have been really liking this camera which makes me happy I don't have a little mirror in front of me yet so we're just gonna be winging this that's how I didn't see I had a tag on me last time also you guys my hair oh I have this thing every time I lighten my hair like this I will color it like right away or whatever and I swear my hair just like needs a minute to absorb the color but what stinks is like I used like 90% 95% of the color that I had on my hair and my extensions and clearly I can't go buy more so I might try and like color this I might vlog it because I'm bored <laughs> I'm bored and can't leave my house um with whatever hot pinks are under my sink and hope for the best mixed with the other ones so we'll see I am way sorry Luna <laughs> I am way past due for my uh like a month past due for my Botox for my TMJ I've told you guys I just made the appointment so I'm just gonna have to figure it out financially it's just so expensive that I feel like I put it off always and then I regret it so made the appointment <laughs> I think as far as eyeshadow goes I'm gonna go pretty simple I think I just want to use this like peachy shade this is the Natasha Denona palette I will show you the front oh it's all fingerprinty Zendo 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 I don't know but it's night I got it in a box of charm so I'm just gonna put that in the crease so something funny I thought I could tell you guys about that I don't think I've ever told you guys it's the only thing trying to talk to you guys when I'm like sick so my favorite thing to do right now is like watch TikToks of people getting ready and they just like talk to you about stuff and tell you their life story. And I've seen quite a few where it's like my worst first date ever. And I have, I have a worst first date ever. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, it was right after I moved to the Seattle area. Um, I ended up working in Auburn and then I ended up living in Auburn and then I ended up not wanting to live in Auburn and I moved to Federal Way. So on the other side of the state, okay. 
my first time away from home. I was like, I had just graduated college. I honestly had never really had a real relationship at all. Um, I never really dated much. And I think a lot of that had to do with like insecurity and not even trying. Like I was interested in some guys before then, but never really, you know, I've never been a big dater. So I moved over there. I decided to get on a couple dating apps. I think it was just one actually. I think it was OkCupid. Okay Talked to a few guys, not really. Like I was just so busy. I keep myself so busy. Even then, like I've always gone to school and done other things and worked or, you know, went to school, did YouTube, stuff like that. I think I lied. I think I'm gonna make it a little more intense because why not? Because I'm just bored. I'm gonna use a little bit of Vigor. Vigor? Okay. And I'm just gonna tuck that right up in the crease. Like, boop, 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 to intensify it. And I start talking to this guy. And like, I was a vegetarian at the time. You're gonna get eyeshadow all over you. Um, and this guy was a vegan. So I was like, oh, he seems like a nice guy. We just chat. He's like a massage therapist. Seems like a really cool guy, okay? Um, sending these pictures, he's got like longer hair, looks a little bit alternative, you know. Uh, I thought he was pretty cute, like, it, you know, he was my vibe, my vibe. I was like, I'll give this a go. I don't know, and when you're younger, I don't know, it's like you just feel like it's something you should be doing, you should be dating, like, I don't know, it's just like, I was like, I don't know, I'll give this a go, because I never really had, and I felt like I was finally, like, getting more secure in myself, even though I was still definitely very insecure compared to, like, who I am now. So I agreed to meet this guy at Panera Bread. <laughs> so at this time, I'm like working in retail. Always and forever. You guys know I worked on Hot Topic for a thousand years. I'm just using my face powder to be my lid shade. So I'm just going to take breaks as I'm talking because if I talk too much in a row, my throat gets too dry. My family still makes jokes about Panera Bread, by the way. Okay, I think that might be as far as eyeshadow, like all I'm going to do because I want to do a really bold wing. So one of the things I, I think I actually repurchased this. It's Ducky from ColourPop. It's just a baby pink winged liner. I'm going to pop a wing on and then I'll get back to my story. I think I'm going to need to concentrate on this winged liner kind of hard. So I'm going to do that, like all of it. And then I'll continue the story once I do my face. I'm probably going to end up with glitter all over my face, but that's fine. I'm going to try and like put this Yerbin. Yerbin? <laughs> Urban Decay Glitter Liner. This one's almost gone. Pyro, it's like my favorite. Um, I'm gonna put it on the wing and then tap glitter on top of it and see if that, if that works. I tried it on the back of my hand. It worked okay. So I'm gonna use a angled brush in this. I don't know. I don't know what, I think I might mix this iridescent and the pink. Look how pretty these are, you guys. But I, I do wish that these <clears throat> were sticky. They're very dry. They're very dry. I'm gonna just do like half at a time, I think. With this, I'm literally just gonna be like boop, 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 boop. Oh, heck yeah, that's cute. Oh yeah, it's working, okay. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's good enough. Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna start on the face and then I'll go back to the eyes because that's where we're at. Um, I would probably prime, but since I'm literally gonna wash this off when I'm done, I'm not gonna waste my expensive, which by priming, I just use an SPF, my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, but I'm literally gonna wash this off. I'm clearly not going anywhere, <laughs> so I'm not going to waste that because I'm almost out. Um, and it's dark out because I'm a procrastinator. So, something exciting I am excited <laughs> to try is this e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have not used it yet. I have the, I think it's the fair shade. It's the fair shade that, well, shade one. So, you know, fair shade one. Haven't even opened it. still sealed. Heard so many good things about this. And from what I understand, you put it on underneath your... Can I get it open? Underneath your foundation. So, I don't have a new foundation, but I do have a new concealer and I have this, so. And a new powder, you guys. We're talking to this guy for a while, okay? Think he seems normal, but again, I'm young, I'm naive, I don't know. I thought he seemed like a cool guy, but, and I'm always that type where I'm like, you never know. You never know, because honestly, with me, uh, 
I usually have to be friends with someone first before I like catch feelings. So I was like, let's just go hang out. He was like, I'm gonna take you to Panera Bread. <coughs> Panera Bread. So yes, my parents still, people in my family still laugh about Panera Bread. Oh my gosh, something about where that clip is, is pulling my hair. So, ooh, I'm excited. This looks very orange, but I'm hoping since it's going under foundation, it'll be fine. I'm clearly not self tanned right now. It's gotta be like all off. So we're gonna try this. So we picked this Panera that's like, you know, in between. I don't know if people use their hands with this. I'm going here with the hand. I'm going here with the hand. Um, oh yeah, it blends in and doesn't look orange. Okay, good. Uh, so we made a Panera. I'm getting one of my sink. So anyway, this guy walks in. He doesn't look anything like his pictures. He's balding. <laughs> he probably, and like, that's fine. Like I, you know, but. I just feel like especially as someone who and being a plus size woman on a dating app ever even back in the day like I was I've never been on dating apps like a lot I was for a minute like back in the day but it literally was like a minute and then like I've peeked in and peeked out you know but so we <laughs> I give him the benefit of the doubt I was like maybe he's insecure you know I'm very understanding um but again as like a plus size woman you like put your full self out there you got to put like your full body picture it's like you got to put like every single angle because <laughs> because the last thing you want is like oh my god I could tell you another story about like some guy my friend and I ex-friend and I were talking to like way back in the day I think it was like a MySpace or something and like we ended up running into him somewhere and then he made me feel absolutely horrible. He's like, you look nothing like your pictures. You are so fat. Um, so from that experience from like years before, I was like, I'm going to put every angle, you know, I'm going to put full body pictures on my profile, which I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I definitely would if that were ever something. I pray that I never have to date again. I'm going to use my lighter Hydromaniac. So we're gonna be fair today. This is in 20. I think that 20 is so much more fair than 30. I definitely have glitter all over my face, guys. Um, I would definitely like use a makeup wipe or something in between. But again, since I'm not going, I didn't feel like getting up and getting any, so it's fine. So we're sitting there having this conversation, and I mean, it's going fine. It's not great, but like, it's a decent enough conversation, like. I don't know I'm kind of especially from working in retail I feel like I can have a conversation with anybody and so and plus I just I feel like I've been judged so much in my life that I try and give people like the benefit of the doubt which is not always go with your gut go with your gut and I could tell like at the beginning I wasn't very into him but you know sometimes you just I was lonely I had just moved across the, the state I was like this guy thinks I'm cute can hold a conversation, you know? So I thought things were, you know, whatever, whatever. I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. So we're just chatting, things seem fine. He's telling me about his job. I'm letting it go that like this guy looks nothing like his pictures. Um, I think I was in like my early mid twenties and he was like his early thirties, but I honestly at this point wonder if he was older than he said he was. I mean, people can bald at any age and like nothing against the balding. It was just that the pictures were so clearly at least five years old um, from <laughs> then. Like he didn't dress the same. He didn't, you know, it's almost like a completely different person, uh, a completely different, you know, a completely different person. <laughs> so that's also a big red flag uh, because I feel like you should just be exactly who you are and why pretend to be what is up Wef, right there. We're just going to live with it. Um, I just hit myself in the eye. So just be who you are, you know, that's how I am. I don't know if I'm loving the elf yet. I'll let you guys know. I may have needed to let it sit longer. If you've used it, let me know. Maybe it just doesn't like the Hydromaniac. So this guy's like, I don't want this date to end. Uh, and there was a Kohl's in the parking lot, okay? A Kohl's. So we decide to go over to Kohl's, okay? And we're just like having conversation the whole time. And like, he's one of those guys that just like thinks he's a cool guy. I feel like so many of these stories, <laughs> the whole time you're just like, girl, why didn't you get out of there? I watched Elise Myers, worst first date ever, about all of the tacos. If you haven't, I laughed so hard. We're gonna try this guy. I'm so excited this exists. I wasn't sure. I knew it was coming, 
because I know Revolution, but I didn't know it was out yet. So we found this. This is the IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte Concealer. Waterproof, blah, blah, blah. Um, I normally like a hydrating concealer, but I couldn't not try it. I could not try it. My fairness. I'm going to try to be careful around this wing. So we're walking around Kohl's of all places. Yes, romantic, I know. We're just walking around Kohl's. And keep in mind, like I said, I was working in like retail management for Hot Topic. And there is nothing more unattractive than someone who like messes up. <laughs> At this time, okay, I'm sure there. I can think of a lot of more unattractive things, but this still is on my list of like I don't like it. Um, he would like pick up a shirt and throw it back, pick up a shirt and throw it back, and like that was just. I was literally like following him, folding the shirts and putting them back because I just like can't. I can't, you guys. I am who because like that's what is when you work in retail. I fold the t-shirts all day every day. Like that's just what you you gotta do. Um, so just thinking about how he was messing up all of this for whoever was working was just very unattractive. But again, I was like, you know what? We'll see. We'll see. The coverage is freaking amazing. I feel like it's a little skin textury. Like I feel like the, keep in mind guys, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. My face is dry. Like I think... I'll definitely have to be testing these products out more. Plus, I'm used to a hydrating concealer, and this one's a little bit, well, it's a lot of bit matte. So we'll see. We'll see. But I'm also wondering if that e.l.f. is doing something. I'm hoping this is the type of situation, because sometimes I'll put on makeup, and then, like, later it'll look better, like, once it settles. Um, but I'm just feeling like my foundation is sitting a little bit weird on top of the e.l.f. Use my hydrating concealer from Revolution. So like it's going fine, whatever. And I don't know, this was probably like two hours of a date. And so we walk back to our cars and he's like, you know, I had a really good time. I would love to see you again. Maybe next time we can like, by the way, red flag, watch a movie at my house. Like, I think that would be really nice. And then he just like leaned in and kissed me. And I knew the moment he kissed me, I was like, I was already not about it. <laughs> I was like, not really about it, just not feeling it. I very much go with my gut and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like yeah, um, usually I like you right away or I just, when it comes to men, anyway, usually I at least have like an inkling. Like you can, I they have to feel like a, a good vibe. I'm very much about the vibes and this wasn't a good vibe. Um, but I was also young and it was like my first real date, honestly, besides going to like coffee. It was my first like sit down date with anyone. So I don't know. And then of course I'm just like, well, I guess I'll give him a chance. So I was like, sure, I'll go on another date with you. I really wanted the P. Louise really pink blush that everyone's been using, um, but your girl can't really afford that. So we got an e.l.f. one, <laughs> a super pinky e.l.f. one, which, this, so this is just a putty blush in Bora Bora. Bora Bora, I haven't used one of these in a minute. So I just didn't really, I didn't really vibe. It was like a very quick peck, and I got in my car basically as fast as I could and went home. Okay, so I'm at home and I'm vibing with my cat Dior. I miss him so much. Love of my life. Um, so I'm just, and he texts me and keep in mind, we had had like no risque conversation at all. It was just like a very, oh yeah, that actually works really well with the brush. Oh, I don't know why I felt like I needed to use my hands, but that's like way more intense with a brush. I want like obnoxious Valentine's Day vibes right now because again we're not leaving let's have fun we had had a very normal conversation just about work um I mean I'm sure he said I was cute or whatever because men you know um but so I get home it's a couple hours later I'm sorry I'm like repeating myself uh it's hard to do more than one thing at once for me I'm gonna show you this face powder and then I'll tell you the finale of this basically um there's a little more. More just gonna get into it. Okay, so I was really excited about this powder. I hate powders. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why I decided I needed this. Revolution with the filter thing just gets me. I'm probably gonna hate it. Hopefully because I'm saying that I'm gonna love it um, because I'm just so, so picky with powders. Uh, but I did like that it had a press powder. It's got the press powder and then it's got the loose powder. And 
I don't know. What should I use? I never, I'm probably going to hate it, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere. So we're going to use the loose one because it's not something I normally would do. Um, so anyway, here's this man. Set this. All right. So I'm going to stop being annoying. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get real with you guys. That powder just took away all of the weird skin texture thing that was going on. We'll see how it wears. I'll probably leave it on for a little bit and let you guys know down. Like I probably won't leave it on for a long time, but at least like I'm sick. So I feel like that ups the gross factor. So far my thoughts on the powder, I feel like it's shown my darkness a little bit, which is something that very often happens. It's like I put them on and I like lose coverage under my eyes. It's so weird. I feel like it brings back my dark circles. So I don't know. I don't know, we'll see about the powder. It might just be a face powder for me and not an under eye powder, which is very common. I'm going to dip into the Revolution Ultra Powder Contour Kit. This is an oldie but a goodie, but I just bought a new one. Look at how beautiful it is. Um, and I still freaking love it. So, oh my gosh, this is the longest story ever. So I'm sitting there, whatever, and he just texts me out of nowhere, and he's like, I can't stop thinking about that kiss. And I was like, I don't think I even responded. I don't think I said anything. And then he just started sending me inappropriate picture and video one after another, one after another, one after another. And then he started saying, like, you're a big girl. <laughs> because you're basically, you guys know, if, you're, if you've ever dated and you're a big girl, you know that men are just going to, they, for some reason, think that big girls can, like, uh, he was very obviously fetishizing me, um, which was really a disappointment for, like, my first real date. Uh, so, yeah, that sucked. And he proceeded to, I ended up blocking him. He proceeded to, like, message me basically every day. Um, one of my coworkers, that was a guy, I actually ended up like telling him, he's like, you need to leave her alone, which is great. But I just couldn't believe how it went from, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised now, but at that time I was young. Well, you know, first real date. I love that my first like real, real date was like such a catastrophe. Not great. My brows are a hot mess, guys. So yeah, not the best first date ever. Uh, he basically just wanted, you know, one thing from me and wasted my time and made me feel I'm just using that same shade by the way that I used in the crease the peachy one so I was just going to like delete the app and I literally went in to delete the app and then at the time there was like a message from my ex who I ended up dating for almost a decade so then I did deleted the app <laughs> so again I don't have a ton of dating advice uh but I have you know had friends that have dated enough if that's something you guys want to chat about sometime you guys did ask a few questions. Um, <laughs> I love you guys so much. You're so funny and you're just so caring. I just, I feel like we're all friends. Like, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of black liner, not a lot. Just enough to like define my lower lash line a little bit. But yeah, I feel like, I'm sorry that that wasn't like the most entertaining worst date ever, but it was pretty bad. Cause I was like, trying to be hopeful and men are disgusting okay not all men not all men I'm like literally head over heels in love with a man right now so so one of the questions I just saw you guys wanted an update on <laughs> the fuzzy beans bum so tiny queen is doing really well I figured out that oh my gosh Binks is being crazy um Luna's snoozing right here Binks is playing like crazy over there uh, she's doing really well. I figured out the treats, the calm down treats the vet gave her were giving her the poopies. So I think that's part of why she had like that flare up again because it was upsetting her tummy. And I would notice like if I gave it to her, like it was just like a cycle. So I just like stopped. I actually have given her CBD. So I went and I knew that didn't upset her tummy. I went and got her more CBD. I was just hoping that maybe we would find something that wasn't so expensive because it's very expensive, um, especially because she's a big cat. Uh, so I'm just giving it to her now when she's extra stressed instead of like a daily thing. When she's extra stressed or not feeling well. So I'm just going to keep with that for right now. She was supposed to have her checkup today. But clearly, I'm not going to go into the vet office with COVID. <laughs> so um, it's rescheduled for like 10 days from now or something. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But she's been doing so much better. One of you guys also just asked me 
the best way to keep red hair from fading and red something I I actually asked a hairstylist once about it and something about the size of the molecules like makes it fall over your hair faster so anytime I've had red hair it's literally still in my shower because I'm disgusting and I haven't had red hair for over a year um but I would mix some like deposit only color with conditioner and I still do that and I'm going to do that too I think for the pink though it's a little bit more difficult with the split but when it's like all one color it's so much easier because you just put it all over your head in the shower um just mix it with a conditioner or you can buy like there's gem lights there is the viral um color wash I know you can get them on Amazon they are kind of expensive but they will last you for a minute and I think the celeb luxury like the gem lights one um I've used fire opal I really liked it it's a it's not like a fire red and I normally am if I'm gonna have a hair color most of the time it's gonna be like an unnatural hair color you know what I'm saying like I want it to be like red um or like an orangey copper not like a very natural and I feel like it may have been a little bit more natural so you might have to like depending on the red color that you have um mix them together so yeah I washed my hair once I feel like I started telling you that and then like and all of the color came out it turned like an orange so I've been using a hair color spray on it the last few days and like it's all come out because I've just been laying in bed <laughs> And it makes my hair really dry. So I don't want to use that any longer than I need to. Um, but so, yeah, I guess I do this. Yeah, this wing just glitter and all and shape and everything is just like a 10. And this one's like a 6. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm going to put on some mascara, guys. Oh, I forgot I need to fix that. So that's how I do. Um, obviously, the usuals, wash your hair in cold water. But I hate doing that. So that's why I've always just done the conditioner trick. So you can buy it or you can make it yourself. And again, I think I started that thought and didn't finish it, but the Celeb Luxury does have a bond builder, which is great for your hair. Um, that's kind of like what Olaplex is. There's a lot of people that have them now. Um, do any of you guys know who Chrissy Chesapeake, I think, Chesapeake? Ch Chesapeake? I don't even know how to say her last name because I follow her and I know she said her last name, but my brain will not keep that in. Um, she's got pink hair. She's so cute. She's sassy. Uh, and she just put out a song and like it's kind of dirty so I'm not gonna sing it to you but it's stuck in my head but it starts with why would I what <laughs> I can't even why would I waste my goddamn time and then it's like ah you know so that's in my head over and over and over again or just like chronic illness like there's so many days where like I'd love to go dig through my makeup downstairs um, where a lot of it's at and honestly I need to do a huge perch maybe we'll do that do you guys want to see that do you want me to like I could totally work on that tomorrow um I'll tell you about the blushes in just a second let's see um so close I'm shot to say gross but she's still working I just love a luminizing blush like I just don't do good with a matte because even if I do a matte you guys I'm still wanting like you guys okay I'll, I'll wrap up my thoughts at the end so anyway if you guys want to see me go through I'm putting some blush up here I'm putting some blush on my nose for your blusher tins right now yeah a makeup declutter I could totally yes let's do that maybe maybe we'll bake something I'm being very very um I hate sick brain <laughs> uh I keep wanting to say adventurous and that's not the word oh my gosh presumptuous ambitious Shannon needs to go back to bed but you guys I've slept for I've slept so much I can't I can't all right we're just gonna use the highlighter in here because I love it and I just mix this one mix this one and this one and this one, and this, one, and this, one. And this is like my eyeshadow brush and I don't care because we're living right now oh my gosh I love that wing this wing is so cute oh no it's it's doing it too I've got a mustache. I need to put on my lashes. I will feel so much more myself once my lashes are on. I don't know what I was even talking to you guys about at any point in there, but I think that would be fun. What I was saying is like maybe we'll bake something or like make dinner, something like that. Even if I order it in, we can do that. And we can do a declutter. Um, I should list on Poshmark. I don't know. I don't know. I also need to list some like mystery mace mid 
I need to list some makeup or skincare bundles because I have so much makeup and skincare that I'm never going to use and I don't want it to go to waste and I would rather you guys get it for like a really good price but <sighs> instead of just like I don't know you know you know let's put on some lashes I'm very excited um I grabbed these be mostly because the package was pink Kiss was sweet enough to send these over you guys when I get a package from Kiss because I don't get a ton of makeup PR anymore because I kind of stopped doing um you know makeup videos but now I'm like I missed it it's weird sometimes you just need a break from some stuff sometimes you just I just and I think that I just I don't know I just needed a moment I just needed a moment so these are the Meredith Duxbury Duxbury Drunken Love I'm rewatching Ginny and Georgia. I just watched like season two, but like I'm really bad at paying attention. I'll like edit or I'll do this or I'll do that. Um, I'm rewatching and it's so cute. It's so cute. It's such a cute story. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is anyone else like that? Like sometimes I just can't watch too much new stuff. It's like, especially if I'm sick or not feeling my best. Where is my lash glue? Lash glue. Um, House of Lashes lash glue is my fave. I really should try the. Um, kiss lash glue because they sent me a few but I have not uh so yeah that's all I've been doing by the way you guys oh my gosh I have to show you my new phone background <sighs> guys how cute is that how cute is that posty and it's just so perfect with the pink vibe um yeah I love it Ooh, this is a good one how do you stay positive when you're not feeling well not good at it <laughs> I think that because this round of having this, I'm going to put this on. Ooh. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous, you guys. I think in the beginning, last night was the first night that I had like a really bad <clears throat> mental moment. Because I think the restlessness was setting in. This, does anyone else have a corner of their eye that just like doesn't want to hold lashes? Always that one. I better pop this one on before the glue is not tacky enough because I'm too busy. Okay, so my battery died. I love this camera so much, but the battery life is just insane. But I just got three new batteries in the mail and I had used my noggin before I started recording and plugged them in. So I'm going to use the matching. I'm going to use the matching. I've got these two new lip products from Revolution. I almost wish I would have gotten the lightest one. But I think when I'm tan, this will be a really good color. I can always add a little concealer to my lips if I want. But I'm going to show you guys how I normally do my lips really quick. Because I never really elaborate. Because you guys can see I barely have, I have no lips. I would love to get fillers on my top lip, but you girl can't afford that. I very heavily had considered it. Um, at one point, when I was still with my ex, and I had extra money because he was paying off my bills. But now I pay all my bills, like grown ass woman. Uh, so <laughs> I just take my contour brush um whatever's left on it that I used and I just this is nothing revolutionary by the way this is just what I do um and I just like put it underneath my lip and I don't know if you can already, I can already tell the difference there's like now a little shadow here it makes my lower lip look a little bigger um I am going to take this brush and go back in with those same two highlights that I put on my cheek from this palette and um obviously whatever highlight you're using by the way high glitter the glitter is like embedded in my cheek right now um, and I'm just going to lightly highlight my cupid's bow and my mustache at the same time, you know, two in one. Um, so one of the questions was, how do you keep yourself in a good mood when you're sick? And I think that up until last night, I was doing really well because uh, this is so much less intense than the last one. Knock on, knock on wood. I don't know. I just got in my feels because I'm so nervous that the, like after effects are going to be the same as last time because it was such a struggle i had increased depression i had increased joint pain i think i already rambled this but the battery died so i'm just gonna ramble again um by the way this is in caramel syrup the second on the thing it was like from lightest to darkest it was like the second one um but yeah caramel syrup in both this and the lipstick and they're supposed to be like the filter smoothing, which is good because my lips are dry right now. So I'm going to open this. But anyway, uh, normally, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at that, but I'm just trying my best. I think for me, the thing that I will find comfort in is there are very few times that I will let myself like, like I'll let myself rest, but like, I'll be, what is it, stress-laxing, where you're just like, I should not be relaxing. 
and it just makes you miserable and it's like you don't get the full effect of relaxing because you can't but this is like one of the very few cases where I'll literally just let myself do nothing and watch Netflix and just sit there. And so that's one thing. It's like, that's the thing that I find comfort in is where I'm like, okay, and I'm lucky and I'm so lucky you guys that, and I, I'm, you know, I can't tell you enough. And one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to, I got it open, do a job like this was because I am chronically ill and I do have bad days um, not only with like my body but with my mental health and like there's so many things and having a job like this I'm very blessed that like I can make it work I normally will not skip an upload unless I absolutely have to and I was rambling on stories and it's like if a cat is really sick and I can't like function then I'll skip an upload. If I have COVID, I'll skip an upload. Um, but you guys have seen me. I've had a sinus infection and kept filming, but then I ended up with COVID because I went out that one time. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess just focusing on like letting myself relax. I think that's the only thing that can cheer me up and just trying to think of all the things. I feel like the biggest positive that ever comes out of being sick, even though obviously no one wants to be sick, I don't want to be sick, I'm not good at being sick, I hate feeling, I already feel crappy all the time, I don't need something else wrong with me, um, is that it gives you a break. And I think sometimes, even though I'm a workaholic and I love what I do and I love doing this, a break is good. Like, think about it, a break from makeup is good because now I'm just like so excited about it, um, I'm excited to, you know, shop for it, I'm excited for so many things. Um, so I think that's how, plus it's just, it's an excuse to relax. <laughs> also an excuse to order all the takeout you want, given I cannot afford all the takeout I want, but I might, your girl might order some more Panda Express tonight because I didn't get anything last night. And that, why is it like when I'm sick, certain things will sound good. Like I used to always eat Hostess cupcakes and orange juice when I was sick, but now the only Hostess cupcakes <laughs> that are vegan, like, like want to be are like the ones that are up north that I can't like go get. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling. Um, but right now all I want is Gatorade and Panda Express. So anyway, let's get to the lip thing. <laughs> Underline. Oh, I like this color a lot. So I'm on the line of my, my lip line here, but I go a little past it right in the center. So I don't exaggerate, I have crusty corners from dry lips, I don't exaggerate, I don't overline on the edges, just in the center, and then I will overline a little bit extra on this side because this side is not as voluptuous as this side for some reason. So I just go like this, do the X, and then this one I do overline. I like this lip liner. Um, to about there, and then I just go has a scent to it which I feel like is not super common with lip liners um but I smell something hopefully this will work with this one because I normally use my city beauty one if you want a lipstick that is going to make your lips look good when you overline because it just like smooths everything this is supposed to do the same thing but I don't think this is gonna plump like that given this was seven dollars city beauty is 35 so I will try my best to remember to link City Beauty down below, but that's the lip I'm wearing literally like every single day. Blush rose every single day, all the time. That pink taupe. I do think that, because the City Beauty claims to be plumping, and I feel like instantly my lips just look bigger. But I mean, obviously my lips are going to look bigger right now than they just were a minute ago. Um, but I'll show you another trick that I do. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this concealer because it's what we've been using, even though I don't know how great this is gonna be. You can always use one a little bit lighter. Uh, just make sure you blend, 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 blend. The darkness in the corners. And I'm going to just, whoop, very lightly, there's like no concealer left on this, but the tiniest bit. I am also gonna take the tiniest bit of that concealer because you guys know me. And sometimes that helps to make your lips look a little bit bigger if you highlight the center. I should have done it sooner. Oh no, that blended well. 
Okay, I do really like the finish of this lipstick. It's not as plumping, obviously. It doesn't claim to be plumping. It claims to be smoothing. It's smoothing. For sure. For sure. But I do... Oh God, I just love City Beauty Blush Rose. Like, I, I, I... If you guys know of any, like, matte plumping lipsticks, let a girl know, because that one's insane. But anyway, I don't think this is the same color or anything, but I think this is the gloss that she was talking about. Oh, it's lip plumping. Ooh, this might hurt, because my lips are just atrocious but we're gonna try it this is the lawless forget the filler this is probably not it i think it was just the gloss she had um but the applicator's the same um i'm gonna try on the top i'm scared I went to go like before i went to go grab the new battery i just used the white highlighter on my inner corner and you guys before there was shop say orb this is what I used and I love it so okay here's the look but uh this gloss is not burning so that's great uh so products really quick I'm gonna go through I think the powder is a win I think it's just not a win for me on my under eyes but for my face it literally my skin looked weird and now it looks great and I even like looked in my like my skin it added coverage or something. I don't know what's going on because I'm, I don't know. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's just my under eyes I didn't love, but I put a little bit of the e.l.f. powder that I love under there and I'm loving it much more. Um, but yeah, I think I liked everything. This I'll have to play around with and use it with other foundations. I'm not sold on it yet. I think I'm going to like it more with matte ones because it's going to make them a little bit more dewy. Um, what else did I try? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry that it's kind of all over the place. I will do my best to get something else filmed for Friday. We will see. I probably will not be doing fashion until next week. I just think my body needs a couple more days. But, but like a low-key vlog or something like that, I think I could definitely handle. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you want to see. Again, let me know if you enjoyed this. I'll try and think of other story times to tell you, but I really don't have that eventful of a life. But I'm sure I can think of something. I'm sure I can think of something. <laughs> But I think that is it. I love you guys so much. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And by the way, everything's linked down below. They are affiliate links. If you want to purchase anything, that would be great if you could use them. Uh, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the well wishes. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Man, I really thought I'd be able to get through this. <laughs> I'm going to eat one of these a little. Never been a thing. Like, we weren't a family that went to Panera Bread or anything. Like, that wasn't. I don't think they were really around. And I think at this time there weren't any. Why am I talking about Panera Bread? Anyway. <laughs> Even though now the, the. What? That is way more tense with a brush. Even though now my blush looks kind of nasty. Um, Because there was product on this. But that's okay. That's what I want. That's what I want. Give me that blush. Um, But no. If any sugar daddies want to pay my bills. That would be great. I thought about asking all of the men in my DMs that send me inappropriate messages to get me Panda Express gift cards or like send me money, but then I felt a little guilty, so I didn't do it. Should I do that? <laughs> See if I can get some like, you know. So anyway, let's get to the lip thing. 